All right. We are joined by Coach Lisa Stockton and uh, Kyron Whittington. Kyron, for those of you who haven't seen the box score yet, 31 points, six assists, two steals. Coach, before we get into questions, would you give us some thoughts about tonight's game? You know, I, I, certainly I, I congratulate Temple uh, on that win. I, I think, you know, that was hard fought, obviously, uh, to the end. I could not be prouder of our team. Um, you know, you, we came here and said this is a, a clean slate and we could start again. I, I, I thought that our team was so locked in for these games, um, so focused. I, I think you saw Amara Mabry and, and Kyron Winnington, they're, they're tremendous. They're studs, right? And I think, um, you know, that we came here to just compete in – yeah, that locker room, people were so upset, and I love it because we came here as 14th seed, and we really expected to be here tomorrow. And I think that's something I'm really proud of them. So, um, you know, we, 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 had, we struggled at times during the season, but I'm so proud of how we came here and finished the season. Thank you, Coach. Please raise your hand if you have a question. We'll get a microphone to you right here in the front. Hi, Kyron. Uh, is it fair to say that, you know, you got the whole offseason to be tired, so regardless of the number of minutes you played over the last 72 hours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how do you, right, how do you not, right, is there, is, how do you not get tired? How do you, when you're playing out there, do you see, okay, uh, right, I can't let, anything you got to do to keep that energy? Um, it's mind over matter, it's mental. I just, I mean, of course I was tired. I'm, you know, you can see on the court, I'm huffing and I'm pulling for air, but it's really mind over matter and being selfless. And it's really about your teammates and one more play, one more possession, you know. And, you know, when I had the ball in my hand and stuff like that, like people are dependent on me. The whole, the whole program is dependent on me when that ball is in my hand. So you just don't have time to be tired. Anyone else here inside? All right, right here in the front. Kyron, I mean, you, you left it all on the floor tonight, and you were carrying the brunt of the offense, it seemed like. Can you take us through what you were seeing from Temple's defense and how you were able to score so easily at times? Um, I think because they were paying so much attention to me and Amira, um, you know, we had a lot of kickouts. They were doing a lot of um, kind of double teams off the screens where they would kind of almost trap or ice. Um, that backside corner was open, things like that. Um, you know, maybe I had my role or coming off the screen. It just, it's all a read, honestly. But, yeah, we had all those options. Go ahead. Coach, you talked yesterday in your post-game press conference about the togetherness of your team and how important that was in the last two games. How important was it and how crucial was it in it going into that triple overtime with the amount yeah. of games you already played previously? Well, you know, I, I think a concern was that Marta had fouled out. That was, that was certainly a problem. But I, I thought the people that were on the floor really were locked in. Um, you know, fatigue was certainly a factor, you know, when you go into that third one. But, you know, you look at them and they sat down there in the overtime and it's the first overtime, the second overtime. But um, they were competitive and they, they kept talking and kept competing in that. And, um, you know, that, that's hard to do. But I, I, I never saw them duck their heads, never, you know, any adversity. I, th I thought they did a tremendous job there. But... You know, we stayed together this whole trip. I mean, they were, they were locked in this whole trip. And um, I think that really is, says a lot, really, just for the character. We said we kind of limped in here with our tail between our legs a little bit. We lost some close games. And they came out of here, and we just, we just weren't going to lose. And a second row on the right. Coach, you kind of mentioned just coming into the season, you know, coming into the tournament, just limping. What does it mean to kind of, you know, have this nice stretch in the tournament and, you know, looking to, to build it for the future? Well, I mean, I think, I think we learned a lot this year. Um, I think the program, I think these kids learned a lot. I mean, we had some injuries and we had to fight through those. And then that, that just kept, just, I felt like that just didn't go away. So um, then when we got everybody back, we just couldn't get traction. And so to answer your question, I, I think it says a lot for the future because I think you can learn a lot from that. Um, you know, I said it just a minute ago, I, I think Mabry and, you know, I mean, Kyron and, and, and Amara were just incredible this weekend, and they've been incredible toward the end of the season. And um, they're both they're both going to return. Um, I, we've got a kid that we lost in the first game of the year that I think is a really good player, and she's going to return. So I think they can take the lessons they've learned and build on what they have. And um, you know, I think I think we can have a good program next year. Right in the middle, 
Coach, with 11.9 seconds to go down two, you know, you could play it both ways and make the free throw foul again. Why did you decide to go for it? You know, without the timeout, it was hard because we didn't have a timeout. Um, you know, it was, it could have gone either way. Um, you know, I just, I was worried about the fatigue factor. I thought if we missed that and we could run that down, that would really help us. Um, and, you know, it's a gamble, gamble you played, you know, and the, the timeout advance thing is so good because 11 seconds is nothing, right? But um, we just weren't getting that ball up the court as fast as we were at the start in the game. So I think that was a big concern. Right here on the right. Uh, Tyron, the free throw where you intentionally missed, was that your call? Was that something you've practiced before because it gave you almost a perfect balance? Well, I do, I do want to say this, is that she wanted to do it before I told her to do it. We and, you know, she, she really wanted to do it. And, and uh, you know, we were trying to get everybody lined up in that. But it was a pretty good miss. It was almost. almost. It was a pretty good miss. Oh. Go ahead. Front row on the right. Uh, Kyron, I wanted to ask, you know, it's a good first quarter and a half. They make the adjustment, then you make the adjustment back. Can you just talk about the back and forth of, you know, you had a great start, they adjusted, and you then adjusted right back and had a really solid game the rest of the way? Um, I mean, that's competition. It was fun. Uh, you know, they have their players, we have ours. Uh, I really enjoyed the game. I hate that we lost, honestly, but I enjoyed the competition, and it kept me fired up. And like he said, the fatigue factor, like, that's out your, out your head when you're going back and forth like that. And, you know, we're just competing. So it was exciting. Uh, we didn't get the results we wanted, but it was fun. And, and I, I will throw this in there. I think, you know, Temple, we just didn't really play very well against Temple the last two games. I, I thought we, we played with them for like three quarters and we'd lose it. And, you know, we, we didn't come into this game going, oh, yeah, we, we feel good about this, right? Like Charlotte, we had, we had really had two close games with them and won one of them. And, um, but I, I just never saw the team ever just worry about that at all. Yeah, I thought they realized what we had to do, transferred on the court. And when we started, I'm like, you know, they're, they're not worried about what happened last game. So, um, yeah, I, I, again, I give them a lot of credit for that, too. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Kyron. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it.